hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's explore about uh, create using radial symmetry and then create something out of it so i will be taking a, a simple ellipse tool here and then draw a shape so i preferably use a solid color at this uh, level and then i'll go to the object and then use repeat radial so that brings up this uh, nice arrangement here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to repeat this um, and then also scale this to center or maybe you can leave it uh, with the same and uh, <coughs> then i'll go to the object and apply expand and then this uh, object becomes uh, circles which are generally um, not selectable earlier okay so once you have got that select all of them and then use shape builder tool and then start uh, identifying the shapes like that okay so you can just hold that way and then just start drawing shapes so keep it simple at, uh, at this point So once we have got that we can select that object and then start uh, filling colors so you can use your color swatches uh, window so you can go to swatches window here okay and then bring up this and then you have lot of uh, colors basically so you can explore uh, different color palettes so I've got this kid stuff, I've got some vibrant colors. So I'm going to select everything and then uh, start uh, filling this color in a sequence. So I've got all the colors filled nicely. I am going to select that and then choose a stroke uh, white and then start increasing the uh, stroke thickness. And uh, you got this nice arrangement. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a polygon and then just uh, drag that polygon like that. Uh, stroke is not really required at this point and I can uh, bring it forward and then I can just put it uh, in the middle so I'm going to select these both objects okay firstly I'm going to select this uh, radial colors and then I press ctrl G uh, to group and then that becomes one object and then I'm going to put this so you can use this align tool and then uh, align it and then uh, you can also switch off the fill if you uh, don't want that to happen uh, I mean you want to see what is going to come into this shape once you feel uh, okay with your result you can go to the clipping mask and apply clipping mask and you got this uh, logo here uh, simple so that's how you can use a radial symmetry and clipping mask and achieve something cool out of it. 